Hey, guys welcome back to the channel Canada Immigration. We will talk about Canadian immigration new draw. If you are interested in this topic please watch till the end of this video for the latest immigration updates and news. Please like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell icon. Let's get into the video. The province has issued invitations to more than 130 eligible candidates Prince Edward Island has issued 136 invitations under the PEI Provincial Nomination Program The draw was held on June 16. A total of 127 invitations were under the Labour and Express Entry Streams 9 invitations were issued under PEI Business Impact and Work Permit Stream with a minimum point threshold of 65 The total number of invitations for this draw is less than the most recent draw on May 20, when 153 invitations were issued. PEI schedules its provincial nomination draws a year in advance with draws typically occurring once each month since July 2021, 1,174 invitations have been issued under the PEI PNP, with 826 of them being issued in 2022. The Provincial Nominee Programme Canadian provinces and territories, with the exception of Quebec and Nunavut operate their own PNP although provincial nomination is different from permanent residence, it can significantly increase the chances of obtaining permanent resident status from Immigration Refugees and Citizenship Canada. There are over 80 PNP streams in Canada through which potential candidates can gain permanent residence this can be done by directly applying to the province or through an express entry profile. Further, candidates with express entry profiles may receive a provincial nomination and get 600 points added to their comprehensive ranking system score this virtually guarantees the candidate will receive an invitation to apply to IRCC. Prince Edward Island PNP Express Entry Category Candidates who wish to apply for provincial nomination under the PEI Express Entry category must also be eligible for the Federal Skilled Worker Program, the Federal Skilled Trades Program, or the Canadian Experience Class. Candidates with Express Entry profiles must create an Expression of Interest profile with the PEI PNP and EOI profile informs the provincial government that you wish to be considered for nomination. It also provides candidates with a score based on a provincial points grid the highest scoring candidates are likely to receive an invitation to apply in the monthly draw. Labor Impact Category The Labor Impact Category operates as a base stream nomination, independent of express entry the category is split into three streams regardless of which of these pathways a candidate applies for, they must have a valid job offer in PEI and support from their employer. Skilled Worker Stream Candidates in this stream must be either currently working in PEI or have a job offer from a PEI employer you will need experience in a skilled profession that falls under a National Occupational Classification Skill Code O, A, or B and a post-secondary degree or diploma. Critical Worker Stream this stream is for those whose work experience falls under NOC Code C or D candidates must have a minimum of two years of work experience. International Graduate Stream this stream is for recent graduates from recognized accredited Prince Edward Island designated learning institutions, example, universities and colleges eligible applicants will work in a skilled profession in their field of study. Business Impact Category The Business Impact Category is for eligible candidates who wish to establish, own, and operate a business in PEI to receive an invitation under PEI Business Impact Category, you must apply under the Work Permit Stream. For this pathway, candidates are expected to begin working in Canada and to learn about the business while on a work permit you must be willing to live in PEI and actively manage the business. 1. The entrepreneur meets PEI criteria while on a work permit, they may be eligible to receive a provincial nomination in support of a permanent residence application to IRCC. Hopefully, the details and information is presented in this video are helpful. So what is your opinion about today's information, definitely tell us by commenting. And on which topic we should make the next video, you must tell by commenting. We will try to reach you with the latest information related to Canadian immigration. If you have not subscribed, please like this video and subscribe to the channel don't forget to click on that notifications bell icon.